We are here to celebrate the success of the games that will never be duplicated. We are here to celebrate the individual who had the vision and wisdom and ability to lead. That is the reason, Peter, why the torch is lit today in your honor. But I consider myself and my generation really to be children of what you did for my city. I saw the impact of volunteerism in this city that lasted for many years, and I've seen a lot of kids who wouldn't have had access to sports get those facilities built, get you know opportunities to play sports. That shouldn't be defined by your zip code, the color of your skin, what neighborhood you live in. And you know this was something that Peter Ubroth did not just during the Olympics, but after the Olympics. So he's always been an inspiration to me, and there's no more fitting person to put up here on the Coliseum. The Summer Olympics in 1984 were a watershed moment for the Olympic movement. More athletes, more countries, and more women competed in the 1984 Olympic Games than in any other games up until that time. By adding the two wheelchair exhibition events to the 1984 Games, you created a massive paradigm shift. You gave back so many times to so many people that you heard people will never know about, but it was you, Peter. Thank you. The fact is, uh, in this society that we all live in, everybody that I can see and everybody that can be behind us or in front of us, we can make a difference and we can all make a difference. And God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you.